Hey everyone, Seth coming to you from the Kenwood Training Department. Today we've got the new Kenwood Exelon KDC-X701. Let's take a look inside the box and show you what it has. The first item that you will see is the included Bluetooth microphone. Next, you will see the included wireless remote control. Then we will have the included screws and then the wiring power harness. Next, the receiver removal tools. If you ever need to remove the receiver, slide into the cage if you are utilizing the cage for easy removal. Next, we'll have the owner's manual and then the warranty card. Kenwood Exelon products do offer a two-year warranty. You will first observe that the receiver does include a mounting cage. So if not ISO mounting, you can use the included cage for mounting. Now let's take a look at the back side. In the lower left hand corner is the AM FM antenna input. Above that is the Bluetooth microphone input. It is labeled mic. Next to that will be your three sets of five volt RCA preouts. The rear preouts at the top, the front preouts in the center, and the subwoofer preouts at the bottom. Next to that is the input for the optional Sirius XM tuner. On the other side of the receiver, you will see the power harness input right there. Next to that will be your auxiliary input. The auxiliary input, as you will see, is labeled aux and is black to be distinguishable from the Bluetooth microphone input. Having an auxiliary input on the back side opens up a nice range of options for flexibility and installation. Above that, you will see two sets of rapid charge USB inputs for various devices such as flash drives, Android devices, Apple devices. You will also see a nice protection cap for the USB right here that you can put over top of it when not being used for dust and other foreign element protection. Let's take a look at the front of the receiver. When you first power the receiver on, you will see that it does give you the option to select the language. This is only the very first time. It's available in both English and Spanish. Turn the volume knob left or right to select your specific language. Then enter to confirm. The receiver will then power on. The source button also allows you to change sources by pressing and releasing it. Below that will be your telephone button. This will be easy access to your hands-free phone call and information. Also an easy way to answer the call. Below that will be the return arrow to take you back one level. If you're in a menu like this, you can press the back arrow and it will take you back to the main screen. This will also be a search icon when using various formats such as a USB or an iPod or Android device. The volume knob will do volume when on an active source. Selecting the volume knob will take you into an assortment of menus. In this area, you can turn demo mode on or off at any point in time. You can also change your clock, going into clock adjust, enter on the time, turn the volume knob left or right, and then enter on the time again. Several other functions are available inside of this screen, such as being able to set the date, time sync. You would turn this on if you would like the time to synchronize with the RDS radio stations. This is optional. We'll select off. And then if you select the lower left hand icon, this is the back arrow. This will take you back to the main screen. Next, let's change the color. Press the volume knob, go into display, select enter, and then color select, enter again. In this area, you can change either all zones, or you can turn the volume knob left or right for zone one or zone two. If we select zone one, we can select a specific color just for that zone. So as you'll see, zone two down below is a separate color. We're just changing zone one, which is this area up here. Next, if we'd like to do all zones so that all zones are the same color, 
we can go to all zones, we can select a specific color, there's an arrangement of preset colors, or you can select custom RGB. In custom RGB, we can touch the volume knob to enter. We could turn it all the way to the right. Select the track forward button to go to the next one. All the way to the right, and then track forward again, and all the way to the right. Next to that, you will see an up and down arrow. This will be various functions such as changing presets or pushing and holding to change to a different band. When we were on the HD radio source, if you press this button, it will allow you to change to the different bands, AM, and then three sets of FM, so six presets per FM band for a total of 18. Pressing down will change the way that it seeks. You've got manual if you just want to go from one station to the next, or you've got different auto modes that will search depending upon if you want to go between your different presets on auto 2 or on auto 1 if you press the track forward button it will then go and find the next station in line that is a strong signal these track forward track backward buttons also allow you to change your tracks with other media such as usb cd etc next to that will be the display button this will change what shows up on the display when pressing and holding, you can instantly activate the dimmer to turn the dimmer on. Pressing and holding it again will turn the dimmer back to off. Presets 1 through 6 here, you'll see 3, 4, and 6 also double with some other functions such as repeat all, play pause. And preset 5, that's what you would use to change between different connected Bluetooth audio devices for using Music Mix. Next to that will be easy access to audio settings. No longer do you have to go into some sort of a hidden menu to find these settings. Now you can simply just press the audio button and instantly go into your audio control settings. Setting things such as turning your loudness on and off by pressing the volume knob, different levels. We'll select the back arrow. This is where you can go in and select your balance and fader. Pressing in the volume knob turning left and right, so easy access to your audio settings. Next to that, you will see that there is a Bluetooth indicator light for the hands-free phone that is connected to number one and for number two. This symbol means that this receiver has NFC. NFC stands for Near Field Communication, which allows you to make an easy Bluetooth connection with a compatible Android NFC device. You'll notice that the receiver does have HD radio built into it. It is also Sirius XM ready, iHeartRadio ready, and Pandora ready. Over here, you'll notice the Qualcomm aptX. Above that, this is going to be where you would insert a CD. So a CD slot right here, next to that, the eject button. And then, nice look to be able to close that up and protect from any dust from getting inside of there. And then the enclosed door tray, you can open that up to insert a CD, eject button directly next to that, and then can close it back up for nice looks as well as keeping out dust and other foreign elements. In the lower left hand corner, you can also detach the faceplate by pressing this button right here. This will allow you to remove the faceplate. To reinsert the faceplate, slide to the right and snap to the left. This Singleton audio receiver has it all, from HD radio to dual hands-free phone calls on Bluetooth, as well as AppDex. AppDex means you can get up to five times the sound quality of an Android device with wireless Bluetooth audio transfer if it has AppDex as well. So that's like having CD sound quality all wirelessly. Other great new features this year, such as Music Mix, allows you to switch between up to five connected Bluetooth devices for Bluetooth audio with just the press of a button. Be sure to check out our YouTube video on the Music Mix operation. Also, another great YouTube video tutorial we have is on the Kenwood Remote app. So not only does this receiver include its own remote control, but you can use the Kenwood Remote app with your smartphone, using your smartphone just like a remote control, all wirelessly with Bluetooth technology to change your stations, volume up and down, change your sources, even adjust all of your audio settings directly from your smartphone. 
so be sure to check out those YouTube tutorial videos. Other great new feature enhancements this year for the KDCX-701 include the best of the best in sound quality and system expansion opportunities. With three sets of 5 volt preouts, you're able to incorporate an excellent audio upgrade system. With our new KFC-X694s, KFC-X134s, and KFC-X174s, as well as the new Exelon 6.5 inch components, the XR-1700Ps, you can build a great system with these. Put these together with an assortment of new Exelon amplifiers like the X501, X301-4, or the XR400-4, so many audio system component upgrades that you can use together with this receiver to build the best of the best in sound quality. Thanks again for tuning in to the unboxing and feature highlights of the Kenwood Exelon KDC-X701. We'll look forward to seeing you again next time.